What is up, Gato Squad? Welcome back to the channel. It's a chilly day today, so I got uh, you know my little beanie on. It's cold. Uh, winter is coming. And uh, today we're going to do a video on car modifications and warranty work. So as you guys all know, I am having an issue with the transmission. But as you also know, I'm going to get my mufflers deleted and make the car sound a little better. Ever since I've, uh, I've revealed that, people have been asking me, hey, what about the warranty? What about the warranty? So uh, I wanted to take a moment now and uh, talk about what the warranty means, you know, how you can void it and how can you know, avoid getting your warranty voided. Let's go and talk about it. All right, guys, so before we get into the whole modification and warranty thing, what have I done to my Type R so far? I've only done a couple of things because so far I've gotten a car. I've had a car for about a month, so I haven't had a chance to do a lot of things to it yet, but that will start very soon. So first thing I got for it was a K-Tuner. If you haven't seen that, go ahead and watch that video. I got the K-Tuner mainly because I can read off the temperature and the fuel air ratio, things like that. And I was going to the track and I wanted to see how the car performed. Uh, it performed really well, by the way. And I did send those data logs to K-Tuner. Thank you, K-Tuner. Uh, they're an amazing company. I really recommend them. Unfortunately, type, for Type R's, they don't have any tunes out yet. Uh, you gotta wait for that. Uh, they're, they're out testing right now. They have their own Type R that they're testing. So they're out testing and they're making sure that the tune they do put out is a very safe tune. So look out for that. As soon as it comes out, I will let you know. Uh, the second thing that I got for the car was the wheels and tires. If you don't know, if you own a Type R uh, and you, dro you drive during the winter or you know during the cold days, then you're definitely going to need all season tires for this car. Now the problem with the stock 20 inch wheels on this car is that a very, very limited amount of tires are available. Basically the Continental DWS is your best choice if you're going to stick to your stock uh, wheels for the winter. What I did was I changed to an 18 inch wheel and got uh, a way more better selection and less expensive selection of all season tires. I'm currently running Sumitomo's, really good tires, really, really good tires actually. I'll do a whole separate video uh, probably in the spring of how they did. And then the last thing I did was I added mud flaps because I saw that the paint was starting to chip away at the fenders, you know, not noticeable that much yet. I, I've shown it in the video, it's just a little bit, you know, pinch, paint chips here and there, not a big deal. Uh, so I added those mud flaps not only to uh, protect the paint, but to add a little flair to uh, the look of the car. Some people love it, some people hate it. Hey, you know, it's my car, I like it, so there it is. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is a muffler delete. So what I'm going to do is I have a welder and uh, I've been talking to him. I got the pipe already. What we're going to do, we're going to chop off the mufflers, weld in some pipe and see how it sounds. If we need to do more modifications to the muffler and exhaust to make it sound better, we will do so. But until then, uh, we're going to wait. I'm going to do it step by step. I'm going to do a finessed muffler delete and exhaust modification so that we get the perfect sound at a good price. So uh, people have been asking me, hey, if you do the muffler delete, isn't your warranty going to be void? Well, there's a thing called the Magnuson Moss Act. And what that says is that if you have a car and you modify it, it's on the dealer and manufacturer to kind of say, hey, the modification you did is what broke the car. Therefore, your warranty is void. Otherwise, let's say I put in a different sun visor and I put in a red sun visor and uh, that's my modification and then I go and my radio breaks. Honda can't just say, oh, you, you modified your car, we're going to void your warranty. This has nothing to do with the radio. So the same goes with, you know, any, you know, let's say I do that muffler delete. They can't say the muffler delete affected the transmission at all. I mean, that's not going to make any sense at all. A muffler delete is just to increase volume. It's not going to increase power. It's not going to do anything else but increase volume. So there's nothing much they can say about my warranty. Now, what will void your warranty? Well, let's say, for example, you lower the car on lowering springs. You use buy lowering springs. For example, IBAC has some lowering springs out for sale. And I'm thinking about doing that. I'm not sure yet. I'll do a separate video asking you guys about it and seeing how, how some people are, are, are installing it and things like that. Uh, look out for that in the future. But uh, let's say I lower the car, let's, let's say I lower it, lower it by three inches and I, use, I keep using the same stock dampers the car has, you know, they're very expensive electronic dampers. And then in about three or four months, let's say they break uh, the dampeners or one of the dampers blows and, you know, I need to replace it. I go to Honda and say, hey, it's still on the warranty, can you uh, replace that? Of course, they're going to say no. And it's very reasonable to think so. The lowering springs could very well have damaged the dampeners and therefore the dampener warranties have been avoided. Same thing goes for, let's say, for example, I install a, 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 a blow-off valve on the turbo on the wastegate 
and uh, my turbo blows. Well, it could be a possibility that the blow off valve could have affected the performance of that turbocharger and therefore Honda could be very well uh, in its rights to remove my warranty for the turbo. But let's say I change the radiator to a higher capacity radiator and then my, like I said, my radio stops working. My radio is still covered on the warranty because a radiator is not gonna have anything to do with the radio. So these are the things you gotta keep in mind when you're modifying your car. You know, if you're doing a modification, what I would recommend you do is first of all, make sure that your car is in tip top shape. Um, and second of all, make sure that you get quality mods. So I've seen a lot of people put pretty crappy mods, especially on their Subarus. Uh, they put these in these terrible intakes and these terrible exhausts and some of them have blown their turbos or even their engines because of their modifications. Now I know Subaru engines are not uh, the most reliable engines unfortunately. They do have ringland issues and other issues which is why I didn't buy an STI and I bought a Type R instead. But if your modification messes up the car, expect for your warranty to be void for that part. So that's something that you, know, you gotta keep in mind. And so to finish it up here, no, I am not afraid that Honda's gonna void my warranty. I know they're watching me like a hawk. I know that, you know, I'm probably not on the best terms with Honda right now because I'm going public with my issues. To be honest with you, I expected Honda to try all they could to make me a satisfied customer. You know, I, I expect every person that has a transmission problem to have their problems fixed right away. You know, the first time I ever bought a new, brand new car was last November. So I never really had experiences with a manufacturer's warranty. I, ex I expected a warranty to be completely, you know, bulletproof. If you have any issues, show up and they'll do everything they can to fix your problem. Well, that's not the case, unfortunately. And it's just it's really unfortunate that Honda has been treating uh, the situation the way it has. I still have all the faith and all the hope that Honda will definitely fix the issue. They're just working on it right now. Um, I'm actually gonna be dropping the car off, this car off next week uh, to get a few things done. More on that uh, in another video. And I'm also gonna have them check and actually flush the transmission fluid with OEM Honda fluid to see if that helps the situation. Anyway, yeah, so let's finish it up. No, I'm not afraid that Honda's gonna put my warranty. It's just a muffler delete. They can't say anything about that. But I think it's gonna be all right and I'm not afraid of it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, as always, put it down below. I'm happy to uh, help you guys out uh, with anything you guys have. Um, if you haven't yet, please go ahead and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.